Hello, my friends. Eddie Marcus here. Well, I guess everyone knows what the Trumper is all about now. He talks about the deep state. Everyone knows that when you refer to the deep state, you are really talking about the crooks. And so the Trumper came in talking about the deep state, got you confused and looking over yonder for this deep state that he keeps telling you about. This deep state that is doing all these crooked things over here and over there. And you're looking over here and over there to see this deep state. You believe it because you're not satisfied. And here this guy comes here saying he's giving you someone to be uh, blamed. And it's the deep state. And so now you can feel exonerated. You can blame the deep state. And you're looking for it over there. Looking for it over there. You see how he tricked you? He started you looking over there when the deep state is the one that was talking to you. Yes. The deep state is the one that was talking to you. Shoot. I guess I'll pass it up. Ladies and gentlemen, I just saw a deal on the corner here. I was about to look at it and something said don't. So here I go. Yeah, well, that's what happened. The deep state was Donald Trump. He was the one that was the crook that had the government searching out everybody that he felt threatened by. And who did he feel threatened by? Everybody that was aware of his lies. Everyone that was aware of his crookdom. And his idea was, if you're not with me, you got to be against me. And so all the ones that was with him, he looked out for them. The ones that stood up for something else, he sent the dogs at them. And then he started telling you about somebody going to steal the election. Oh, somebody's going to steal the election. They're going to have ballots coming in from all over here. Ballots coming in from all over there. And all of a sudden, got you. You want to believe in it anyway. You over there looking over here, looking over there for the, somebody messing with the ballots. Then he come and tell you somebody. And then all of a sudden, you start repeating what he said was happening. You don't know anything. He's just lying. But you don't know it because you trust him. And there you go, spreading that lie. And been spreading that lie, buying into that lie. I know how easy it is to buy into that lie, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you something. When they start, when Alex Jones started talking about a Columbine, I mean, I wasn't listening to much social media at the time. But this guy just started coming out, and I'm thinking, how can somebody just come out and lie? I mean, who would just come on a social media and just lie to the people? Thousands of people are listening, and you just lie, lie, lie. So I'm thinking, this man got to be telling the truth. He got to be telling the truth. And I'm thinking, why would somebody do some stuff like this? And all a whole bunch of other things, ladies and gentlemen. You know what was going on. Some of you do. And having spent on uh, on the media for a little bit, I started, you know, surfing. Started going around, listening to other people talk, checking information out, trying to verify it beyond Wikipedia. And all of a sudden, I'm noticing things all together different than what I believe in. Oh my goodness. Now I start looking for the liars. And they're everywhere. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? The motivation is money and power. Money and power. That's all it's about. Lying and cheating and stealing and hating and racism and bigotry, all of that stuff, murder and war, all of it is about power and money. Power and money. You got some places where an individual wants the power and he'll do anything or she'll do anything to scare the hell out of it. And you just give them the power. <laughs> Then there's some that want to be in the group. They say, it wasn't just me. It was us. Now you got to deal with the group. They're sticking it to you just like the individual. But they feel better because they got more number. 
all my friends. I'm telling you. And we're one way out of this. And that is that we as individuals look to our parents. And I'm not talking about our earthly parents. I'm talking about our spiritual parents. But in order for me to talk about that, I must be talking to those who are born again. Those who are quite aware of the spiritness of their lives. And whether they have made a decision or not, the option is always there. And so, for that possibility, this message goes out. Because it is the only way. Freedom comes from the power our parent comes from God. And it rides on the back of truth. Truth, you shall know the truth, and the truth. I'm thinking about it, ladies and gentlemen. I'm thinking about it. Are you free with the truth? How many people claim they know the truth? How many people think they know most of the truth? How many people are satisfied with the truth they know? How many people are satisfied with their lives? Is it more or less? I say to you, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not satisfied with the life, wow, you ought to get to know God. Now, the problem about knowing God is not going to make you be satisfied with your life because your situation are going to still be there. They're going to still require change. <laughs> and the thing of it is, born again, is there change in you? That kind of change? What kind of change is required? <laughs> yeah, truly, what kind of change is required? That you stand up for truth. Well, ladies and gentlemen, my, uh, my camera fell off the car here. <laughs> so I think the best thing for me to do is just go on and, and end this for now, okay? Talk to you later.